Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my basement. I get my line out tomorrow. So before I did, I wanted to take a minute and show you guys the line and the different parts that make it up and let you see kind of what I've lived with for the last nine months. So the line itself, I keep curled up and tucked away right there like that. And ta-da! So this is the line. It is made up right now of the extension tube, which goes from right here to right here, and that just makes it a little easier to work with. Um, we have a lot more line, otherwise um, this cap would just be sitting like right here, and that's not much space to um, work with when doing IVs and stuff. So I really like the extension tube. I'm glad we ended up requesting it. So yeah, the rest of the line starts this little purple tube right here, and it goes up and around and down right above my heart, and that's where the meds are dispensed when we do the IV. Now the line, actually has, let me see if you can see right there, the line actually has these two little purple wings built into it. And those purple wings are for clipping into what's called the stat lock. And the stat lock is this little butterfly shaped sticker basically. And it has little clips built into it that the line wings go into and it clips down. And it makes sure that if the line gets tugged on at all, it tugs on the stat lock and those clips instead of the line itself which would be bad because then the line would get tugged on and it would move and it's not supposed to move at all. Uh, one part you can't see is that the line has some little black dots on it that go kind of like from the start of it down and I don't know how many they are. But that little black dot sits right above my skin and that way you can tell if the line's moved at all. If that dot's a little closer to my skin, we know that it's gone in just a touch. If it's a little further away, we know that it's gotten it's moved out just a little bit. Now there is some wiggle room there. Um, we've managed to keep it like right above my skin and um, had it there the entire time. My mom was a champ when it came to changing my dressing and making sure that the line doesn't move during that procedure. So shout out to my mom for being awesome. The next part of the line is this little disc right here. It's called the bio patch. It is an antimicrobial patch that sits right above the line insertion site and makes sure that it keeps it just that much more clean and kills bacteria and that sort of thing. And that makes sure that it doesn't get infected. The next part of this thing is a, I don't think you can see it, but there's a clear plastic sticker called a Tegaderm that um, basically gets laid all the way across the whole thing. And it goes from like right here to right there and it makes sure that everything stays in place and it also keeps dirt and grime and that sort of thing out of the area and keeps it very clean that way. The last part is a part that we don't really use. It's this little purple clip thing. It clips closed and makes sure that nothing can come back up through the line. Now we, instead of using that because clipping and unclipping would put wear and tear on the line and since we're gonna have it for nine months, we wanted to just leave it open and only clip it closed when we did the dressing change. Um, instead, we have this little blue cap and it's a valve kind of thing. So you can push liquid through it, but no liquid's gonna come back up through it. So this is very nice. These we actually ended up buying ourselves because we didn't wanna you know, put the wear and tear of the line from the clipping. And I've been really happy. I'm glad we did. It is very nice. I'd highly suggest it if you can. Um, it was about $70 for enough to last us for one change a week for nine months. So we need a bunch of them, uh, but it was really worth it and I highly suggest it. So that's the line. And when it's not in use, it gets curled up and then tucked away and it's all nice and safe again. So I hope that was kind of interesting. I get it removed tomorrow. I'm afraid I won't miss it, even though it's been with me close to my heart, literally, for the last nine months. But it's it, it's time. It's time It's time to cut the cord. But yeah, um, we've been extremely happy with the line. We haven't had any problems with it. And I feel okay saying that because I only have to have it in for less than 24 more hours. And I don't think we can jinx it that fast. So maybe we can. Who knows? I don't know. I'll let you know if anything does happen. But it, it stayed really clean. The site stayed nice and 
um, free of any skin irritation, that sort of thing. Sometimes we'd get some skin irritation and we'd let it just air out and put like some Benadryl spray on it when we changed it. And that seemed to like kick any irritation back down. But other than that, it's been great. Um, it was pretty sore for the first few months, but nothing I can't handle. I just, you know, couldn't sleep on this side mostly. Um, and even like towards the end of it, the last few months, I've been able to sleep on the side and not have any problems. So been really happy with it. It's performed well. It's admirably. So yeah, I'll see you guys next time and I will be line free. Okay. Bye. 